Welcome back to Scene South TV, the Daily Echo's entertainment guide to everything going on here in the South. Coming up, we'll have all your regular features. We've got a fantastic Valentine competition, and Kieran Cox, singer songwriter, will be live in the studio and much, much more. We're already well into the new year and my new year's resolutions are out of the window. How about yours? Yeah, pretty much. I'm going to wear a lot more black, and, but I want to get a bit more trim ready for the summer, you know, so I can do my little Baywatch run on the beach. Oh dear. Oh. Well, I like your forward think thinking yeah, there. Slow motion. It's all good. <laughs> uh, now, if you are looking to get fit in a fun way, a new and exciting craze where you can literally dance the weight away, uh, let's have a look at what Zumba is all about. It's a lot more fun than other fitness classes. Lots of good music, lots of laughs. If you fluff it, it doesn't matter. The music's really good fun and it's um, just really, can really get into it. I find it really good. It's just so much fun. You just laugh from start to end. Go for it there, Hayley. I saw the arms going and everything. Loving that. Fantastic. A quick introduction. We've got instructor Hayley here and we've got Sarah, or well, the Hello. star pupil, I'm told. <laughs> Welcome. Got all your stars there. Yeah. Very good, very good. Now, obviously, it's um, looking very exotic. Where did it originate from? Yep, yeah, it's from Latin America. Um, it was a chap called Berto. And apparently, as the story goes, um, he turned up for his exercise class that he was teaching right. and um, he'd forgotten his music. So he went into his car, found out some Latin music that he'd been playing in his car, put that on, everyone danced to it, loved it, and then it's gone all around Jeez. the world. Zumba need, was born. You just need just, the idea, don't you? Just by um, forgetting your music. Yeah, tell me, I mean, tell me how you guys got into Zumba then, I mean, especially um, Hayley, how did you yeah, get um, into it? Well, I've been teaching full time for um, about 10 years. So I teach um, ballroom and Latin and freestyle and street dance and lots and lots of different styles. And then Zumba came on the market and, um, and everyone was like, yeah, you should definitely teach Zumba as well. So I went, went and did the course, absolutely loved it. Brilliant, brilliant it's fun. It's gone crazy, hasn't it? Everybody's, yeah. everybody's talking about it. Do you know, Suzanne, that looks so much fun. I think we should have a go ourselves. But of course, we need some music to do that. We do. And we have Kieran Cox, who will be singing for us later, who's ready to play us some Zumba music. What have you got for us, Kieran? Are you going to play us just a bit of Zumba music yeah, for now? Yeah. Right, should we have a little sample? One. Thank you very much there. We're going to hear more from uh, Kira a little bit later on. But um, I'm not really dressed, am I? So I thought maybe I could just maybe... What about this? What do you think of this? Is that better? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this the usual I've been waiting fire? all day to do that. That's brilliant. <laughs> I was wondering, actually. But, yeah, lovely. Uh, right. Do you want to show us something like a typical kind of move from your class? We'll yeah. do our best. Um, I was going to do a meringue because that's quite... Easy. I've eaten a few meringues. Not too like hard. Go on. Yeah, meringue. Um, so the meringue march. You're just gonna stamp your feet. Got to wiggle your hips. Okay. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, nice. That is quite a good wiggle actually. I think it's I wasn't the tutu. Expecting that from you. <laughs> I've got an excuse. I've got these crazy heels on. So. You have. Yes. Yeah, so you're making <laughs> me look make very a mark short in our there. Floor. <laughs> good. So you can move forwards and back. We can go round in a circle. <laughs> yes, lovely. I'm loving this. this now, great. what about if we added some arms? We'll do some arms. Should we put arms. the music in Should as well? Should we get the music yes. in? Yeah, yes. Yes. let's we do it, do guys. That should Hang be fun. On. Here we go. There you go, Mark. Oh, 
Oh, I think you better do this next thing. I'm exhausted. <laughs> well, thank you, Hayley, and thank you, Sarah. Now, while we cool off, I think we'd better go have a look at our odd job section. Take a look. Two, two hundred and three. What's that? I've done really well. These are all my Valentine's cards. Look at them. You're They're all joking brilliant. me. Let me have a look. No, hang no, on, hang no. on. Right, so we've got ooh, familiar face. Yeah, all right, Paul. All right, all right, we've enough. got Paul. Yeah, okay, we get oh, the Oh, and this one, my particular favourite. Favourite okay, with, with love. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you, I didn't get any, all right? Oh. oh. Yeah, now, if you're thinking of sending a card to a loved one, how about giving it a personal touch? Let's have a look at some handwritten cards by our very own card sentiment writer, Natalie. Take a look. Hello, my name's Natalie and I'm a greeting card designer and writer. I got into writing greeting card sentiments because I'm a graphic designer by trade and I wanted to have my own business and it was a really good commercial way of combining my graphic design skills and my writing skills and having a product at the end of it that I could sell and market. I get my inspiration from writing the sentiments from anything that might be happening. Right now, for example, the recession is quite a big influence and I get my influence for the design from art, design, textiles, anything around me. My new collection is called 12 Dresses and it's a primarily illustration based range but I'm combining the uh, illustration with some really beautiful sentiments. A good sentiment is something that when you pick up the card, it makes your heart turn over. So for example, um, a really good sentiment for something like Valentine's Day would be, how much do I love thee, let me count the waves, or something like that. Just something that makes you go, oh, that's really special. With Valentine's Day coming up, it's a really good example to look at a greetings card on that occasion because if you're sending a, a Valentine's card to a woman, it's really important that she knows how much you love her. That's how she'll measure the Valentine card. How much do you love her? Oh, love. It's all about love, isn't it? It is. Valentine's Keeping the Day. romance alive. But what a great skill to have, just to be able to create cards, uh, greeting cards, whenever you need them. Fantastic. Well, we're probably going to have a lot of them because we've actually asked our audience to write down their own card sentiments. What a good idea. Do you, how do you think they're going to get on? Oh. Are you up for this audience? Yeah. At the end, we've got a prize for you. One of you is going to win tickets and a complimentary drink for themselves at the Orange Room Southampton. Yes, come on. Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Comedy night next month. Fantastic stuff. Now, uh, I've got a Natalie O'Donovan you've just seen in the VT there. We've also got Ryan here uh, as well. We'll start with uh, uh, you, Ryan. Yeah. Valentine's, do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you send it. cards? Do you I've, get cards? I've never received a card. And oh, audience. Oh. I, don't, into I, a panto I, I today, think Ryan. you should be romantic 365 days a year, oh. sunshine. All right. Yeah. Please, <laughs> please. Well, Natalie, I'm sure you disagree with that I entirely. Do. <laughs> uh, but what makes a really good, um, it makes a good a greetings card writer? A good greetings card writer is somebody who can be emotional, be yourself and put a little bit of your character in there. It's all about character. Well, we've got a character with uh, Suzanne in the audience. We do indeed. If you'd like to stand up, young Thank man, you. Casanova. Um, what's your name, please? Ashney. Ashney, fantastic. Yeah. And are you going to wow me with these sentiments? Well, I hope to. I hope so too. Let's go. It's clean, isn't it? Yes, it is. OK, let's go for it. OK, well, have I got to say it? Yeah, I'd love you to say it. Okay, go. Then. My love is like a red red rose, a flower blooming, blight. Uh, some of my darling, come upstairs and thank you and let's have a good night. I thought it was meant to be clean, that one. What yeah. have you got over there, Paul? My heart stopped there for a second. <laughs> my goodness. Do you want to stand up for me? What's your name? Um, Amy. Amy. Now, uh, do you send many Valentine's cards? Never. Do you receive any? Few. Oh, there you go. That's what we want to hear. Now, have you got what you've got? What have you wrote for us yeah, today? Let's I see. Yeah, really classic. Got a, yeah, classic. Is it good? It's traditional. All right, let's hear it. Um, roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. Right, thanks for that. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Well, I hope the rest are better than that. My goodness. Well, it's uh, not as easy as it looks to write a greeting card. I'm going to be looking forward to hearing what they come up with, with our judges as well, a little bit later on. Join us in part two, where the crew will be meeting another Olympic hopeful, seeing what's on in the South and so much more. Don't go away. <laughs>